Richie Valens, America's first Latino rock star, was born Richard Stephen Valenzuela on May 13, 1941, in the L.A., California neighborhood of Pacoima. Inspired by traditional Mexican songs, R&B, and rock and roll, Valens took up music at the age of five. While he learned to play a number of musical instruments, including the drums, Valens quickly fell in love with the guitar and began mastering the instrument when he was just 11 years old. The humble, unassuming Valens would take his guitar to school and perform for his fellow classmates, where he was known for improvising lyrics to popular songs and for his unique ability to connect with his audience. In 1957, when he was 16, Valens joined a local band, The Silhouettes, and began performing around town, gaining fame as the Little Richard of San Fernando. That same year, Valens Junior High School was rocked by tragedy when two airplanes collided over the playground, killing two of his classmates and severely injuring hundreds of others. Although Valens wasn't present that day, the incident instilled in him a fear of flying. By 1958, the talented Valens had become quite famous locally, drawing the interest of Bob Keane, owner of the Delphi Records label, who had previously worked with the incomparable Sam Cooke. Keen invited Valens to audition at his studio, after which he signed the youngster to his label and recommended he shorten his name from Valenzuela to Valens. In July of that same year, Valens entered the studio. The following month, his first single, Come On, Let's Go, was released. The song, which was written by Valens, was an immediate success, reaching the number 42 spot on the charts. his increasing success, Valens quit high school and began touring and even performed Come On Let's Go on American Bandstand. Valens' follow-up single, Donna, was even more successful, just missing the number one spot on the charts and selling over one million copies. Valens wrote the song after he and his high school girlfriend, Donna Ludwig, decided to date other people. The B-side to Donna, La Bamba, would become Valens' signature song. Valens reworked a traditional Mexican wedding song into a raucous rock and roll staple. Sung entirely in Spanish, Valens' recording would form the basis of the Chicano rock movement, inspiring countless artists of all ethnicities and making Latin music accessible to everyone. Hey. Entertain Mr. Freed. He might even play your record if you rock him enough. In addition to his heavy touring, Valens found time to appear in legendary DJ Alan Freed's film, Go Johnny Go. In 1959, Valens was booked on a multiple concert tour with certified rock star Buddy Holly, J.P. Richardson, known as the Big Bopper, and other musicians. However, conditions on the tour were unbearable with the musicians suffering from illness and frostbite during the Midwest portion of the tour. Perhaps the cold Midwest weather proved too much for Valens and prodded him to do something he had sworn he would never do, board an airplane. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Three young singers who soared to the heights of show business on the current rock and roll craze were killed today in the crash of a light plane. The, the decision Marvel proved fatal. On February 3rd, 1959, a plane carrying Buddy Holly the Big Bopper and Richie Valens crashed just five minutes after taking off from Clear Lake, Iowa, killing all on board. The incident would become known as the day the music died. Richie Valens, the youngest victim of the accident, was just 17 years old. His remains were interred at San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California. Although his musical career lasted a brief eight months, Richie Valens' influence is still felt to this day. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001, Valens was credited with inventing Latino rock music. Known as a sweet, compassionate young man, Valens' death was not only a huge blow to the music industry, it also devastated those close to him, including Bob Keane, who said of Valens, unlike many entertainment stars, he will always be remembered for his gracious demeanor and sense of humor, mostly about himself.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video below.